A year ago, 10 lambs were born to radio-colored bighorn sheep along the Salmon River. Eight weeks later, all 10 had died. Concerned biologists at the Idaho Department of Fish and Game devised a bold experiment. Pregnant ewes were captured and flown to a research facility to be monitored until the lambs were born. Last month, Incredible Idaho brought you along on the two capture operations, one at Big Creek Drainage and the other near Chalice on Morgan Creek. The decision to capture a wild animal is not made lightly. Stress to the animal is inevitable, and even more so when an animal is pregnant. But attempts to study diseased lambs in the wild provided little information over the last two years, except the fact that bighorn lambs are still dying at an alarming rate. This year, we're, we're taking some out of the wild. We're being a little bit more aggressive, but we're going to get a good database from these animals. After nearly six weeks at the research facility, the sheep appear ready to drop their lambs. The expectant mothers are rounded up for their trip to the veterinarian's maternity ward. They have uh, several diseases, which any one of which could cause the demise of the young ones. But remember, if the mother had the disease, she should have produced antibody that will be passed on through to, to the youngster. Hopefully, speculations such as this okay. will be resolved as these sheep and their offspring are monitored in the weeks ahead. Give, give me your hand. Give me your hand. You feel a hoof right here. Nervous as an expectant father, wildlife veterinarian Dave Hunter monitors the ewes on the way to the operating table. The decision has been made to take the lambs by cesarean section. We're being very aggressive about this because we've only got a population of three. We can't afford to lose any of these. Okay, here it comes. You got a clamp? Okay. Okay, we're going to get some Oh, come on, little bugger. Is he taking a gas bath? They're born in fluid. You got to get that fluid out of there, so you hold them upside down. Oh, here we go. There it is. Come on, baby. Let go of that stuff. You can't breathe that anymore. If this lamb were born in the wild, the journey through the birth canal would have squeezed the fluids from his lungs. That's the stuff you want out there. Well, that's a good baby. Good baby. So, Dave, she's breathing. She's, got yep, she's on her own so far. She's a good full-term little lamb. While the second bighorn is being prepared for surgery, the first milk is pumped from the new mother. What's important about get, letting, allowing the animal to have the first milk, the colostrum produces uh, or contains about 90% uh, of the antibodies that the ewe has produced toward diseases in her lifetime. And that gives the lamb protection until that lamb reaches about six or eight weeks of age. All right. Yay. Is that just like mom? Look at that. Another healthy lamb is pulled from the womb of his mother. This marks the first time lambs have been taken successfully by cesarean section from wild sheep. Any pretty little thing? Three weeks later, the lambs are king of the hill and of everyone's heart at the research facility. Right now, they're healthy as can be. We take blood tests now. It'll be every two weeks, and it'll be every week once we put them back with their mothers. And we're going to check for disease exposure, and we're going to check for the signs, early signs that something's going wrong. The third sheep delivered her lamb naturally. The tests on the baby ewe indicate pasturella organisms already present, the culprit that triggers death for bighorns. The little lamb is already geared up to have problems, but you can see from the way this little guy's running around that she's not having any problems yet. So whatever kicks or trips this pasturella over to be, become more virulent or deadly, uh, we, we can see that it's not in the little one yet. So now it's a waiting game. This is the critical time for these little lambs. At three to eight weeks, they must begin producing their own antibodies, or they will succumb to the same diseases that killed last year's lambs in the backcountry. It's a waiting game as well for wildlife veterinarian Dave Hunter, but the quiet moments have their rewards. Something very soothing about coming up here about 10 o'clock at night for the last feeding, and it's kind of dark in this heat lamp. And you feed them, and that kind of suckling sound, you know, They'll come up and they'll snuggle up to you right afterwards. And it's, it's almost like bonding with my daughters when they were young. Dave Hunter reports that the smaller of the two male lambs is beginning to show signs of disease and may possibly die. But what can be learned from this little fellow may possibly save a whole generation of wild lambs in Idaho's backcountry.